Hello world, this is Random Fix, and today I'm going to show you how to clear an ABS light. And this is on my 2010 Toyota Camry. I'm going to be using this MaxiDot scanner. I'll have a link to it below for the updated product. And uh, if I go under Asian, this is with the scanner on. Click on Toyota. This is how easy it is. So my ignition is on, which means all the lights, like the check engine light is on, but my motor is not running, right? So it, has, it fills out the information about the vehicle automatically, it knows the engine. And I don't have a smart key on this car. It just has a regular old style key that goes into the ignition, right? And as far as options, I'm just going to go ahead and choose other. And I'm going to hit OK. And I could do an auto scan and it pulls up all the different modules on the car. I already know this one has some kind of pending code on the ABS. So I want to see if it comes back. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys there's a code here. There's a code, which is the C1201. I would write down this code, right? And uh, uh, before I reset it, so if it comes back up again, I know that whatever it is, uh, there's something going on uh, with this uh, with this module, and I have to figure out how to fix this. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear it for the time being. I'm going to hit Escape. I'm going to go back to Erase Code. It says, engine, uh, I'm sorry, ignition on, engine stopped. Yes right you will lose the, the freeze uh, frame data right yes the command was sent right and I'm gonna do a read just to verify that it was erased system pass no false found so I'm gonna drive this for a couple of days see what happens but uh, some of these bigger scanners allow you to do a little bit more some of the pocket scanners, uh, they allow you to access ABS units, SRS units. This is a basic scanner that you can get, and it clears your check engine lights, and you can read some trouble codes, but it, transmission modules and those kind of things. That's definitely going to be something for a, a bigger unit like this. I have a complete review on this product, which I'll leave up for you guys as well. If you like the video, give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys watching. And hit the subscribe button. Let me know what kind of experiences you guys have had or any kind of uh, troubleshooting that you guys currently are going through. And I would hear, love to hear your comments. Thanks, guys.